So Aries, you know, you are right. They are holding back uh, for some reason. Uh, so let's start the, re the, the reading and I'm going to explain to you exactly as to why, what's going on with them. Hello Aries, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. This is your general love reading for December. Going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, to see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course vice versa as well. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading guys, it is time stamped. This section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camera okay so feel free to jump ahead to the start as i always say please just take what resonates and uh just leave what doesn't and if this isn't your story if i don't pick up on your story stick around as there could be you know just messages throughout oops that <laughs> the cars for where they may that just jump out and speak to you and of course Use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go. Because ultimately, we we create our own reality. So just give me a moment to finish laying these cards. Okay. So let me just take these in and I'll be back. Okay, so Aries, let's start your reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as this being your side, person that you're dealing with over here, but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. There's a lot of love here between you and this person, or there's an opportunity for love represented by the Ace of Cups here, Aries, that whoever this is showing up in your reading. There's an opportunity for love or there's a lot of love that's already kind of developed within this connection, within this relationship. I don't feel like it's an established relationship yet, just simply based on how you're both showing up. But you're definitely showing up as focused on this person, focused on this connection. Um, there's a level of passion and desire that you have, you know, that Aries fire, that Aries focus, that Aries drive um, in moving forward, moving ahead. And it feels like there's support as well around you. Does it necessarily have to be in the physical? It could be, you know, spirit guides, that type of thing here. But um, yeah, there's a level of passion and desire. What's quite interesting, though. Um, focus as well. What, what's quite interesting is you holding back or is that how you're seeing them? This could be how you're seeing them. It's not really taken away from how you're feeling though. I want to clarify that. This is either you holding back or this is how you see them, them holding back in some way, shape or form. I feel like it's more to do with maybe you see them holding back. Got the fulfillment there. We've got that ten of cups. This holding back to from 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 that, and it's not. Yeah, there's thoughts around that. It's just if this is you, you see them as holding back, Aries, holding back from this emotional fulfillment that you know that you can have. Um, seeing them as uh, being up in their head, not taken away from how you're feeling though there's still this I feel like that amps up that <laughs> Aries fire that Aries passion that Aries drive I, I'm an Aries so I kind of know that you know it's all about the chase it's all about that excitement it's there's still that level of you know focus passion we've got the the, the the wands the queen of wands matching that king there so you're starting to really focus in on working on something your focus is on putting in work in something this could be you know we've got the two uh cards representing the pentacles so eight talks about this you know focusing working on something i feel like this is you working either on work and or and it's not even or i feel like that work is in relation to or has some form of impact on you getting ready for this person or being ready for this person or you wanting to uh, it coincides with you embracing this opportunity that you feel that you have here to build something you know, you feel like there's an opportunity here to build something with this person. In fact, I would go so far as to say with the justice card here that there's a level of you feeling like this is you getting what it is that you want. The justice has been served. Maybe, you know, for a lot of you, 
you feel like, you know, you're, you're deserving of this based on maybe past experiences. And with that, you're just wanting to focus on moving ahead. It's like, I'm, I'm, I'm wanting this person. I'm wanting this relationship. I'm, I'm wanting to move ahead with this. Where with your person, like I said, there's a choice that they need to make. It's just a choice around something. But I wanted to pull on that too, because there is this not wanting to acknowledge something, not wanting to pay attention to something, not wanting to, yeah, there's something that, how do I explain that? I want to pull on that again. Something that is not fully built or not fully come into fruition, not seeing the return on their investment, not and not acknowledging something about not acknowledging that or choosing to not want into justice that's interesting wanting justice wanting to move into a higher connection yeah there's something that's not turned out the way they would like and they're choosing to ignore it I feel like this is more about having faith in things turning around and moving towards or wanting things to turn around or wanting justice in this, wanting fair treatment or wanting things to go well in order for them to move towards this higher thing, this higher commitment. Something that's not materialized for them when it comes to you. This is their thoughts around you. It's not stopping them from feeling this new newness around this connection or this new beginning, this feeling of this new chapter or this new journey this new adventure that they have um they're moving into this higher level of thinking though it's this king it's that king energy it's that you know strategically planning plotting figuring out how to move um you know putting things into place i just want one what is that around and, and that's their thinking yeah, in order to move things, in order to advance, in order to advance. But there's some, hmm, this could be pessimism. I will pull on that though. That four of cups could be pessimism. One more. It doesn't need to be because depending on the deck that I pull when it comes to the four, it depends on how I see that or feel about that. Um regardless whether that's pessimism or optimism they're wanting to come together um to collaborate that talks about coming together in a relationship and having a a, des a desire to do that and even seeing you as as this person this very attractive sexy ambitious confident that's the queen energy queen of wands energy and that kind of fits the the, the aries isn't it um but regardless of all of that whether that is optimism or pessimism it's like regardless of whatever challenge that I embark or encounter when it comes to this relationship or this person or, or within myself when it comes to relationships in general, I want to hold on to this. I want to conquer that. I want to come out on top. I want to come out on top. So you're right. This person is holding back in some way. Usually at this point, we move into part two of the reading, get a fuller picture. But I will be implementing that next month, guys. So bear with me. Uh, and along with the singles readings. But like I said, you know, you're right, you are picking up on them holding back and it's to do with um, them figuring out how to advance, how to move ahead, how to, let me pull on that a bit more, figuring out how to move ahead in some way, how to advance. And it's. I don't feel like it has anything to do with you per se. Did you see that? Towards love. Towards love. Not sure it has anything to do with you per se. This could be internal with this person. But again, usually at this point, I'm moving to part two, get a fuller picture. Um, so hopefully at this, this is giving you some form of clarity, Aries. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I do weekly, just click that, singles and love readings. If that's something that interests you, as I say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, guys, have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I shall see you soon.